Uh, for everyone watching this uh, on YouTube later, we just finished up with Deadlight, uh, which meant that we were kind of without a next game to play. But uh, Rakir asked me to well do a bit of a short start that a sort of video then on the sexy brutale. So yeah, need to start it up. And, and this is before I could. This is before I was able to adjust everything. So yeah, it's from the same work people as the deadlights so there uh, controls Wait, no graphics the there okay i need to set it up to be recorded first oh i thought i can hear it yeah that's because the game audio is still recorded because i can hear it okay there we go now let me change this up over there deadlights to uh Wait, why is it not showing up as enemies? Yeah, right, I need to deselect it still. Uh, there, Sexy Brutale. Okay, it. There we go. There okay. we go. <laughs> yeah, this we is the Sexy Brutale. This, this... Yeah, we have showcased this game, yeah. And I have gotten it completed to 100%-ish. I don't remember what this specifically keeps the count of, but yeah, this is the Sexy Brutale, the second game made by Tequila Works, and we just finished with their first game, Deadlight. Yeah, uh, Lord Behead, but have you not said this name, game's name? I would probably have forgotten uh, that one was actually on, uh, this game was to our, was to do list. <laughs> okay, I'll start a new save here. Here's my complete save in nine hours. All of the car all of the collectible cards found and nine out of nine invitation letters. So yeah, here we go. Start new game. And the nine hours. Oh right. Yeah, then this is definitely a side show. Or side quest, I mean. <laughs> the Marquis is the enigmatic enigmatic owner and creator of the sexy retaliate blah, blah, blah. Impeccably his impeccably trained staff catered to their every desire. But this year, something is terribly, terribly wrong. But you can find that out for yourself, you know, Lafcudio, or Lafcadio Boone. After all, you have all the time in the world. Text goes a little bit fast. I feel like I like had the same complaint back then. Yeah, all the time in the world to sleep off this hangover. Time to move on, old man. And yeah, that's not uh, water that's raining down. As you can see from the splatter when it hits. Never take your mask off. It will give you a chance, just a chance. You are not weak. And I will help you. But he... He is so, so strong. Goes through the door. Oh, right. that's... Why you want to go through the door? Okay. Right mouse to move, yeah. <laughs> okay. Look through the keyhole. Hello there. It must be. What was that? Calm down, Reggie. They won't look for you here. Probably. There. And we can listen for people around us. We have really good hearing that way. And we can quote unquote see where they go. Follow him through the door. He is very loud. Hmm. 
Wait, where is it? This is just garbage. Who locks garbage in a safe? Lucas, what have you done? I'm terribly sorry, sir. No, no, you can't, please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, uh, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What will happen is that I come, I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest and then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the stonework. He is coming, hide. Let's have a look. Ah, it is still loaded. Let's see if this works. I guess there's always plan B if it doesn't. Chase after him. Normally, you don't leave a loaded weapon as a decoration. Notice the mask. Get out. Be calm. You were not seen. He is not chasing you. Look back through the door. Where the hell is Seven Clubs? You can bloody well come and help me with help me with the body. I'm not lifting it on my own. He didn't notice us. He did not see you. He will not chase you. No one in this mansion will. That was my gift when I touched your mask. It will protect you, but only for a short time. The staff are murderers here. Guests are victims. But they are all controlled, dominated by the masks they wear. I have one more gift for you. This pocket watch is important. I took it from the man you saw murdered. Broken pocket watch. If you can return it to Sixpence, you will be able to unlock its full potential. But first you will have to save him. I have to go. You will find me if I stay. The broken pocket watch. Use the pocket watch to restart the day from 12 p.m. The pocket watch is partially smashed and resets at 5 p.m. If you can find some way or someone to repair it, you will gain more control over time. <laughs> you will see the current guest or guests you are trying to save. Mm, yep. Yeah. Reverse time to 12. And I can hit the chapel. Just get our ass up off the floor again. The Marquis invites you to tonight's show at 7 p.m. something. Do we have a, some kind of options to the controls that take speed? 
Uh, let's see the map. As you explore the sexy Brutale, your map will be built up with the rooms you have discovered. Okay. Time scrubber. The movement of characters you have seen will be added to the map. You can adjust the time shown on the map by using the time scrubber. So, yeah. If we use... Let's see. Actually, where are we? Okay, we don't know the other places. <clears throat> uh, yeah, options. Uh, no, there is nothing for the speed on that. Okay. Nobody here. Oop. I hear footsteps. Your map mm -hmm. will record important information. It's take, taken us about two years to start streaming this one. Mm. Quickly. Okay, that's six pence. We know that he comes through here. It's quarter, I think, perhaps. Ah, yes. Now, if Thanos' yeah, blueprint is correct, the safe should be in here. Okay. We have to prevent the murder. The hunting rifle firmly secured to the wall. The loading chamber is open, but it may already have bullets inside. Oh, I can hear more footsteps. That must be uh, our killer. So let's quickly move around. Oh, the flames notifies that there's someone in the other room if we're about to enter it. Okay. And we can we can enter a little bit earlier since they are already leaving and hello blank cartridge well that would be uh, useful to prevent a murder someone was in there but the gun is still here so the blank cartridge slides in easily the blank will be the next shot and a quick blessing of the shots and we speed forwards. I'm terribly sorry, sir. No, you can't, please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, there. Now, there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What the hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? Ruff. There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. You coward, coward, and bonk. Ah, oh, golden duck. Cracking job. The heck? Well, his candle got snapped. My candlestick. This feels very different. Why am I wearing this mask still? <laughs> there we go. Ah, so much better as the entire place quakes. Good lord, Lafcadio, hello. Pardon? Where are we? Do you know? And wait, is that my pocket watch? I have the strangest feeling I've been looking all over for this. You've done quite a number on it. <laughs> and just like that, it's fixed. <laughs> there, that should see you right. All fixed. Now, I think I should get back to the party. Yep, fixed pocket watch. Use the pocket watch on any ticking clock. This will save your game and set that clock as your starting point for each day. With the watch repaired, the full day is now open to you. Yeah, the full day to explore and well, the full place <laughs> to go through. Yeah, someone's been having a slight tipple on the job. Good show, sleep it off that man. <laughs> Yeah, he's just sleeping. Totally not dead. The way he walks. <laughs> okay, and there you are again. Take his mask. You will need its power.
Reginald's Clock Mastery. With six Pence's Maths, you can now create a bond with the clocks around the house. Use any active clock in the mansion to jump to 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. You saved Reginald's life. He was the personal clockmaker to the owner of this mansion, the Marquis. Well, he was more than that, but... The important thing is that the clocks in the mansion are tuned to him. Now you have his mask, his power, it will respond to you. You have to go, quickly. Even now the mansion is straining to undo what you have done. But you can fight back, saving one life at a time. This day will start again. I pray that Sixpence's power will free you from these rooms. If you are lost, find me in the casino. And we'll look for you by the clock. There are so many more guests here who need your help. There we go. Back to start. Saturday. It's uh, 7 p.m. in the theater. You know, it's days like this I wish I were less competent. Then maybe I wouldn't get the tricky jobs. Okay. And yeah, here we are, stuck in a haunted mansion just after we're done with the last of our... <laughs> after the last of our spooky games. Yeah, oh yeah, this is... Will you count this as a spooky... I guess he's kind of count as a spooky game. <laughs> okay, we can give that a spin. It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, Let's see. Yeah, no. Now I can help to wonder how many games from the first round of Showcase Sunday have we still to do? Probably a good amount. I'll just have to find them. And yeah, this is easily found. The enormous statues appear to have been struck from, mo uh, from mottled bronze and finished with pure gold trim. On the side of the foot is a mark. Runes. The sign above the door welcomes guests to the Sexy Brutale. Now, this game is a bit of a sort of detective puzzle game. So, yeah, we'll need to puzzle through this place to, well, get out. Boon. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure. I didn't know if you would be able to leave the chapel. But you can. We have a chance. This is the casino, the front and center of the Sexy Brutale. The guests here are Trinity and Clay. There are more, but you cannot reach them yet. We have time to watch and learn. We must save them both, together. You save Reginald, and his mask is giving you power over his clocks. They have all stopped, but if you can wind them, it will be very useful to you. I found the keys for this area. That is all I can do for now. Winding keys. Stop clocks in the mansion each need a specific key to be wound up. Use the matching key on the clock to wind up the clock. Winding the clock reveals the map for that area and allows you to make that clock your starting point for each day. Now we're going to have to go through quite a lot of days to get out of here. Use the winding key. I will find you when I can, Boone. Save Clay, save Trinity. Uh, yeah, with uh, bloody steps. Ooh. Clay Rick, uh, Rock Ridge, the Brute in a Suit, Trinity Carrington, the Moth by Moonlight. They are the next pair to be saved. But first, we'll need to know how they die. The brute in suit. There we go. Now this place is set as our spawn points. Okay. Well, first of all, yeah, first off, we'll have to find them, of course. Oh, the leather of the chair is so soft, it's like gently warm butter. <laughs> okay. What? 
was really, think, really I, freaking I soft mean, leather. <laughs> yeah, that, that's also really soft, but also from that depth, I know what they mean. But it's hard to not immersion uh, the uh, sticky chair that you slipped. Yeah. The table is stocked with heavy gambling chips. Are they hand carved? The security camera is placed for a very close view. Now you'd want to keep an eye on that. And we've got a code. Ooh. Yep. Someone over here. And there we have Trinity. Lucas really should have gotten crazy to do the security. Oh. Oh, hello. Almost got jump scared by one of the killers. Again, it is nice that we can see their footsteps, even when we can't have sight on them. Uh, wrong button. Uh, yeah. If they, if those masks get close to us, that is when we will start le getting hurt. What? What was that noise? Four p.m. Oh. She got that open. Okay, can we follow? Door has a complex security code panel. It will not open without the right casino security code. And something happened in there. It's so warm in here. Where am I? You hear wings, butterflies. What? Drinks tray? Trinity, if you've ruined a romantic surprise, you are going <laughs> so bad. And yet, notice the... Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but notice the uh, sticks she's walking with? What was that? Or rather, that she is feeling the area in front of her with? Yes, she's blind. Okay. That is why she can't see the uh, butterflies. Wait. Oh, wait. You meant she heard the butterflies. Yep. She identified them from the sound. Mm -hmm. Show will start in one hour. Mm -hmm. Down the hatch. <laughs> Here's the turning it all around. And here we have Clay, playing uh, poker <laughs> with a Reaper machine. Okay. Who has a machine? There's a card on the floor. Those are optional collectibles. Ready when you are, your move. Uh, is he coming through this door? He is coming through this door. Yep. Okay. It's blue, right on time. Okay. Yeah, the moment that they start opening a door is when you can open one as well. There's a sense of grace in the sculpture that is deeply appealing. It is marked with a moth symbol. Man, I hope Trinity is okay. She does love to wander. Man, just taking shots. The statue wears a mask. The detailing, and the detailing is beyond exquisite. A tiny moth is carved on the sides. Impossibly smooth to the touch, it's the work of a master artist. There's a moth carved in the base. I think we can guess who made these. Yeah. Man, I gotta, gotta just win this. Then go look for Trinity. <laughs> Please no more, your luck is running out. Please no more. And that's, that's kind of creepy. And yeah, 
the mass on the clock show when they die. Play Heliper. What? Man, freaky. And well, the clock is running out for play. And I think we can all guess what will do him in. Okay, now I'm nearly done. Okay, let's play. Play, she needs you. You have to see. You need to see. Uh, you are the worst. The worst dealing row whatever. Hmm. I'm real tired. I need to finish. Finish and find something. Very well, Clay. You made your choice. You win. I win? <laughs> I win one. I won win. <laughs> he is very drunk. And now, well... Very dead. So, yeah. And they both are dead as they are both straight out. So, all we can do now is either wait for the time, you know, for the rest of the time to run out. Or, let's see, can we reset ourselves? And, okay, the advance time is only 2, 4, and 8. Okay, what's with that? Oh. What's your poison bar? Let's turn it off. Oh, subtle. Until tomorrow. As blood starts to rain. The shelves are filled with gambling tips and techniques. And when we hit midnight, all we gathered is lost, and we reset. Okay. Now, let's get a move on. That's to the bar. No need to go there. Yeah, we can't open that. The red color shows that. So, yeah, we need to go find people and find ways to, well, keep them from dying. What up trickles across the rocks? That sounds very peaceful. There are drinks on the tables, as if they've been left here only moments ago. The panel activates the CCTV camera 3, but you don't know the key code. It's... I can hear footsteps. There's someone over there. Yeah, is it? Uh, right, I think we fixed this lot and we need to remove the poison shot. Mm. We have to negate it in a way, I'll say. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of a dead end here since. Play is here, and he will stay here, but there goes Trinity. Okay. Let's see, we should be... Nope. Quickly. It does take some time for that to get across. And let's see. Yes, he moves into here. Here we go again. <laughs> okay. This is a panel for camera two, but we don't have the code. So yeah, we need to go find those codes. Oh, uh, now we remember what you need to do. Yep, because there's a big ass screen in front of Clay and nothing is going to make him move unless we show him something. The bar is stocked with liquors and drinks of every conceivable taste. And each one seems to be the most expensive kind possible. It's a vent in the wall. It sounds like it extends deep into the mansion. 
The chips have the nuanced texture of ivory. On the back there is a tiny engraving, engraving of what seems to be a woolly mammoth. Surely not. Okay, this leads back to clay. Yep. Okay. Things we have examined are lighted in light blue. Plant gives us a rich common sense. There's no fakery here. And that was six pence. Used mammoth ivory to make chips. Yep, casino chips at least. And okay. I think a lot of archaeologists are fuming at that idea. Yeah. Okay, if I remember correctly, there is a code to be found here somewhere. The table is laid. The table is to be laid out like a revolver chamber, perhaps for drinking games. Let's see. Have we checked this thing? The related chain wheels are impeccably balanced. There is hardly any friction at all. They are handcrafted masterpieces. There's a card on top of the camera here, but that's not a code, I believe. Um. Yeah, certain things will only happen at certain moments. But I think for the moment, all we need to know about is in here somewhere. There's a few more. There's a few more rooms here that we can get access to. Actually, we can get access to one of them through the other side. Okay. Uh, no need to go through these. Uh, during the showcase, I remembered how to do this one still, or I stumbled into it randomly. Uh, let's see. This door, according to map, this leads somewhere else. Yep. yep. Okay. <laughs> Camera feed is now being shown on the main casino screen. Okay, and we can hear Clay talking in there. Security monitor here has been switched to show footage from the mood setting film intended for the gambling hall. Yeah, let's see. A one way mirror looks into the gambling hall. The large screen is showing footage from the security. Yeah, we, as is obvious, we need to show him something. Small seating area looks out in the casino. One way, one way mirror. And code for the CCTV panels. And oh, hello there. Oh, we need to be fast if we don't want to get caught up in here. Hmm. Yeah. We found something of importance. Yep, yeah, map. Or... Okay, click, click, click. Oh, uh, well, might just go grab that. There, Ace of Clubs. Then we hit this. Camera 3 isn't in this room, but will now be turned on. And yeah, it's in the, it's in that room. And yeah, that is how Trinity would have died. By fucking spider. Where is she? A <laughs> terrible run of luck, sir. Some of this text goes a bit too fast for me to read out, so I'm not going to try it on everything. Oh god, easy now. That's if that's him going easy. Whoa, whoa, I've got you. Clay? Clay, thank god. Let's get you up. There's someone else here as well. Oh, Clay, we have to get his mask off. I don't know what happens. What a fright. Boone? What are you doing here? Man, what a nightmare. Was it you who turned on the cameras? If you hadn't, I don't know what... Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's get out of here, Trin. 
But you could use a drink after that. Man, I could use a drink. You know me so well. Just stay away from the red drinks. <laughs> Run at blackjack? Loser does shots. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan with no possible downside. After you. Um... And he takes his mask with him. Yep. Two saved. A bunch to go. You found a way to protect them, Boone. Wayne is, is, yeah, is an unstoppable force once roused. He and his brother both. But it's Trinity who is special. Take her mask. It's her gift to you. Not a pleasant experience. Trinity's perfect hearing. Trinity's mask allows you, you know, <clears throat> allows you to hear even the smallest sounds. While spying or hiding, listen to whispered conversations or other quiet noises by using the power when the prompt appears. Additionally, you will now be able to hear more when you listen out to your surroundings. Trinity has exceptional hearing. Her blessing is now yours. With that mask, you will be able to find a way through to, through to the guest rooms. There is a girl there who is fighting so hard against the darkness in this place. She needs your help, Boone. Mm, yeah, the mansion doesn't like that. Another question is, is this how far he got on the showcase? I think. A little bit further, maybe. But we did permit to save them as well. Yeah, do back then I think they had so another name for the Sundays. Yeah, the, then I, I think we called them the sideshow still. Let's see. Okay, we do keep the the we do keep the codes. But yeah, if we wanted to, we could now listen to the codes. Uh, actually, there is one code we could listen for. It's the one uh, the servant used to get in that uh, <clears throat> to get in that locked room. Okay. Uh, let's see. Map. Okay. This this doesn't this only keeps track of what you have seen yourself. So since we haven't seen Trinity move through this room, we have no record of her doing that. Oop. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay. Now, once he gets there, we should get a prompt to listen in on the code. 5564. Five, okay. Also, I hope people are very observant that this is not, I repeat, not a kid's game. Definitely, yeah. Okay, they're not here. Ooh, getting called, give me a moment. All right. Yeah. Do it. <clears throat> okay, just the aunt and uncle heading out from the bi-weekly dinner here. Alright, alright. You behave Pardon? with steaks again? No. Uh, let's see. It's a spiky box with a big padlock. There are stacks of ledgers here, rows and rows of figures. What well, happened? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, not that kind of figures. <laughs> the statue has a tiny moth carved on one of the cards. Yeah, Trinity is the one who made these. The fireplace is huge and extends deep into the wall. There's a tiny carving of a moth on one side. So in fireplace, the embers are cold. Oh, company. Uh, 
Uh oh. Okay. Uh, we could act to save them again, but it wouldn't really help us in any way. Just we so already if... saved them, technically. Yeah. We would just re re be repeating what we did before uh, without any progress. Okay, where did the guy go? Okay, he must have gone in the, one of the other doors there. He's not there. Was this lit before? I, I, I guess he just lit it and went out. The statue shows a girl weeping over two dyes marked with skulls. It's troubling, as a moth is marked on one side of the die. Okay. Hello. An urn made of delicate mosaic glass. The mirror is beautifully carved and highly polished. Looking into it gives you a deeply unsettled feeling. Okay. Yep. Uh, looks like we're going to have to pull a bit of a vanishing trick. And there's no there's no keyhole to look through here. Okay. Let's see if this will work. There we go. Switcheroo. <laughs> okay, let's just get out of there before he gets finished with his reading or whatever. I'm so happy that worked. But okay. actually, how... that, that, that was secret with a coin flip. Yeah. And... I don't remember what happened. I, I think if you get caught and your health drains completely, that uh, you do get sent back. Was that Trinity I was hearing? Or was that our own footsteps? Oh, also. Uh, what? Oh, oh you, you. You're coming from there. Okay, from the other side. So that is where he comes from. Ace of Spades. Hmm. And Trinity tried that lock, but it didn't work. So, I don't think we can get that code. And oh, another card. Seven of Spades. The room is full of items and memories that someone seems to be trying hard to, for to forget and ignore. Everything is all covered in sheets. And... The door is locked. Okay. As the bell for the show goes off again. Hello. That was someone different. Okay. Let's set this thing to here. Okay. We need to find a way to another part. Uh, hello. My mask burns as I approach the door. This is as though it's pushing me away. Well, no going that way then. Nine of clubs. Okay. Let's have a look here. Okay, main hall. Okay. There's more flames up there. What Let's is that Electrified? Yeah, it's not electrified, there's spectral flames coming from underneath. A copy of Rorschach debunks. It's just ink. The book is filled with beautiful monochrome paintings of faces, animals, and scener animal scenery. Okay. A handwritten collection of cocktail recipes by L. Bondits. Yep, just the hiding spots. No need to hide. Another one of these. The candle is curiously cold. Yep. Hat locked. The bookshelf is empty. No weights. Ten of clubs. Yeah, some of these we can find through just looking at everything. 
Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath states that this is one of the last 116 pages from the original Book of Liba and Lehi. No idea what that might be, but okay. Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath states that this is one of the 12 missing pages from the Codex Gigas. They're both very important books, I'm presuming. Statue's arm is locked into place and cannot be moved. Okay. Nothing to gain this way, other than, well, a card. But we're not here to play cards. We're here to save lives. Indeed. And the bar again. Let's shut that off. Okay. Jack of Spades. Oop. Okay. Can't. Oop. Okay, we can't really move into here, it seems. The enormous, yeah, the enormous snake that winds around the room must be artificial, but the skin is terrifyingly lifelike. Oh no! The glass tank under the bar is filled with creepy crawlies of all shapes and sizes. And another candle. Curiously cold. Yep. There's movement in the sand in this tank. Another hiding spot, and well, time is running out. It looks like the, <laughs> the pocket watch gets very heated when uh, time is running out. Okay. We keep the cards, but we lose any physical items. Well, the cards typically count as physical, but they're just collectibles. <clears throat> okay. Now, how do we get to guest rooms again? It's been it's been a long time since I lost played through this game entirely, and even longer. Uh, well, not even longer. But it's a long time since I lost played this game, and a lot longer since I well since the showcase. Let's see. Can we get the codes of this anyways? Uh, let's see. That's. Two explanation marks here. Can I get a look at those casino something? Yeah, I guess we have to go through here then. Since we can't really go much else. Or anywhere else, really. Hmm. Can't see anyone nearby? Not moving, at least. Okay. Why is that one still marked here? That's the way to save Clay and Trinity. But we've already done that. There is no use for us to do that again. Yeah, wait, wait. Who is the next person to save? Yeah, we need to find them first. In the guest rooms. Oh. Oh, now I get you. Now I get you. And that stupid thing is interfering with our listening. Oop. And there's someone else. And the music is too loud to hear what they're saying. Is that that they are singing as well? No, I think it just means that the music is overpowering. You, your hearing might be perfect, but when someone is shouting in your ears, you're still not going to hear someone else whisper. Indeed. No, you know, I miss you now and then. Hey, okay, Trinity going there. Let's see. Could the code for the door in the next room be the same? Oh, Ma'am, I'm so sorry. This room is off limits. Off limits. Since when a room off is the room's off limits? Well, it's a surprise, ma'am. No, no, whatever I said. Surprise. No, don't worry, I wouldn't like to ruin any surprise. Also, notice the red drink. Yeah, that is where the poison came from. The very same spider that would do Trinity in. In all the years I've been coming here, no one has ever had me locked out of any rooms. Oh yes, there we go. 
of snickering to herself like a cat. <laughs> yes, she may be blind, but she has gotten... You know, she is not any more uh, incapable. Let's see. Nope, uh, same code as before. And well, we know what that shot is. Okay, it is. Is it a gen? Yes, it is a general code. Okay. Well, we're out of the casino now. Three of clubs, a sail, a building, a traveler. It's impossible to tell. The painting is a maelstrom of chaos and darkness. It's not welcoming. A forest scene, blurred and strange. Or a skyline. Another vent that we can peek through. Okay, into a place with different music, the wine cellar. Okay. Hello. You recognize the statue as a Carrington without even needing to check for the moth mark. Okay. Key of Old Habits. Okay. And up we go. Because, well, we're not getting into either of those rooms. Okay. Ten of diamonds. The cabinet is empty. The room gives you a strange feeling of deja vu. Or has that not happened yet? Uh. Okay. There's footsteps, but there's nobody... Is that below us? Wrong. Okay, they're gone. Still, let's go the other way. Okay. Music rooms. Oop. Something very cold and solid is blocking my way here. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time. <laughs> so let's not go there. Okay. Pressing here. The fireplace is huge and extends deep into the wall. Moth. Fire is roaring. Its <laughs> intensity causes your heart to race. And um, that's the timer. I will say the timing of the uh, clock in game. Okay, let's find. Uh, let's try and find a clock for us to tie to. And then we'll call it now. Willow Blue, the flame in the dark. And there we go. There is the fourth person we have to save. At first, we'll have to, well, find them and find a place to respawn here. Let's see. Might as well grab this. Six of spades. Uh, yeah, because if we if we end the stream now, we just end up in the, uh, in the casino again. So, where is a clock around here? Another one of these. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, it needs to be wound, um, so we need to find the key I'm as well. Eh? <laughs> yeah, and... Uh... Yeah, we're too late. Bone key. Her body swings above the darkness. Okay, does this... Nope. Uh, that's not ominous at all. Yeah, we need to find the winding keys somewhere. Uh, like, 
Okay, this leads back here. Is it hidden in anything, or...? Hmm. I forget if you can find the winding key on the floor and such. Uh, or if it's hidden in something. So we might have to just... Re we might have to run back here from the casino next time. Uh, let's see. Wait, who just saved? Yeah, we save at the. Uh, we, it should. The game should have saved at the uh, the last respawn. Uh, but just to be certain, let's go do that right now. <clears throat> okay. Before the clock hits twelve. Okay. And yeah, each area has its own little musical theme. Uh, this way. Yep, okay. Uh, not that. There. Okay. And let's see, brochure. Yep, we've got a bunch of stuff here. Tutorial, fixed, clock mastery, and a bunch of sealed up stuff. I also have a bunch on the guests here, the casino, all the areas where we can find some info on. But for now, we'll have to call it there. Oh, it just it saves while you exit. Nice. <laughs> I'm too used to a bunch of old games not saving as you exit. And yeah, that'll be the Sexy Brutale for today. So let's get over here and look for someone to raid. So, pull the browser out from behind that. And uh, change the screen share. I need to pull it out from there as well. If you want. Yeah, I, I put these behind the uh, for the windowed... <clears throat> behind the windowed preview that I screen share with Rakir. Uh, because if I don't put it always up top, it just gets wonky with the screen share. So, change windows. Twitch, live, and let's see. We have a lot a lot of people online. Okay, almost two entire lanes. We have Ooh, Reef to Leaf with Survival Kids. Uh, Xenibe Fan with Outer Wilds. Nico Silverado with Ark Survival Ascended. Swabe is playing Retro. Let's have a little look here. Tries playing Roland's Campaign. Okay, oh. one of these Retro. Okay, like Retro. I have uh, played this game. I have played this. It looks like a... <clears throat> it's Heroes of Button Magic 2. Yeah, I was about to say one of the early hidden magics. Uh, let's see. We have Jimmy McGinnier with Cross Codes. I'm Nice with Animal Crossing. Lazarus with Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Uh, redact Redacted Cat with Diablo 2. Shabbos the Moon Seal with Lies of Pi still. Ramia with Starfield, Big V Streams with Saints Row the Third still, WBPL with Jack 2, Jackson Sam with Hunt Showdown, I'm a Flanker with Old World, Casco Zoo, uh, yeah, yeah, Casco Zook is playing Lobotomy Corporation, Touch Scaly Tail Party Animals, mm. uh, Halloween is playing Stalker Anomaly, uh, Racious the Dwarf is playing Return to Moria, Lord of the Rings. And last but not least, we have Little Karibo playing a you know, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Okay. Uh, any of those that sound interesting to go for today, or shall I take a pick? Probably should have summarized to just a few <laughs> standouts. But yeah. Hmm. We've, we've rated I'm Nice recently. Uh, so she is off the list for the moment. Um... Lazarus or someone else? Lazarus or Kaskusu? Look to me the corporation. Okay. One of those two we can go for. <clears throat> uh, we've been raiding Lazarus a lot recently, so let's go raid Casco Zook. Uh, I'm drawing a bit of a blank of how we found them. I think it might have been uh, through one of my friends. I don't so... remember them at all myself. I don't recognize them at all, even. <clears throat> Pardon? 
Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. <clears throat> Thank you, Sensei, for lurking, and thank you, Marco, for chatting along a bit. And thank you, as always, Dukir. You're welcome, as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And, yeah. Uh, let's see. If nothing gets in the way, then tomorrow we'll have a Borderlands stream. Maybe something else if the others don't feel up for Borderlands, but it's been quite a while, so I'd rather want to continue with that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tuesday, we'll continue with Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising. And I think we should be able to finish the game. We are close to the end, I believe. Uh, which means that yeah, either that day... Or it, uh, it'll probably be Thursday that we move on to uh, Dawn of War 2 Retribution then. <laughs> and, yeah, Chaos way. Rising is rather short. <clears throat> But yeah, the, I think the replayability in the game lies in how much you want to play around with the chaos, uh, corruption and such. <clears throat> Most likely. Um, yeah, why is my... Okay, elbows deciding to be a nuisance. Okay, uh, for now though, let's get that raid started. Okay, no block. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching and until next time, have a nice day and until then. Be safe everyone, sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs>